Vilcabamba, Ecuador. A very inexpensive way to travel around Ecuador is on the buses. Here the buses depart every 30 minutes and connect to all of the cities. What's that noise? What's what's the noise? Oh my gosh! Let's go see! I don't know! coffee shop and this is where everybody gets their news. Hello. Hello. Good day to you. How are you doing today? Have you heard that an alien just landed at the bus terminal here in Nicaragua? It just happened. What can you say about it? It's something incredible, unbelievable. Well, I think it's wonderful because Vilcabamba welcomes everyone. We're all aliens until we become friends, right? So we're pretty much here at Inza, just as well as in Vilcabamba. We're welcoming every alien that's out there in the universe. That's wonderful. So I think they finally are with us now, and we just have to enjoy the love and the peace that they want to. They already gave us that message, so we want to really enjoy that. So what do you think? It's really important we start now, right? I think it's wonderful that we're going to be on this transition. It's just an amazing thing. As long as we respect each other and we treat each other with love, everything is possible. Yes, thank you. I agree with you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, of course, it's very amazing this here in Vilcabamba because I think the reason they come in here is for the wonderful place because it's like a paradise. We have the wonderful water and everything in Vilcabamba is like a paradise. The people is very, very friendly and the community, community here is comfortable and everything here is very, very well. And the most important and incredible is that they have been here to give us a message, very important message about peace and, and love. And, and so we now need to start doing that. So what do you think? It's something important we should start now? Yes, of course, it's wonderful because the best things they can give you for the world is the peace and love. And I really like that we're together with the aliens because we have the very, very good thing now with theirs. Yes, I think they are really in love with this area and I think with the people too because uh, I think we are very special and we live in a magical place. I guess that we are all allies to each other until we get to know each other, one another. And the people of Vilcabamba appear not to fear these aliens and seem to be honored that they have landed in this beautiful valley. Hola, bienvenida. ¿Cómo estás? Gracias. Y we're here to let you know that an alien just landed at the bus terminal here in Vilcabamba. It's something really incredible that just happened. So we would like to know what you say about it. What do you think? Yeah, that's good news for the town because uh, we know uh, there are a lot of aliens around the sky. But at the time he landed here to town and enjoy the benefits to know this town is a miracle, uh, good weather, nice people, and always welcome the uh, foreigners, aliens, and all the people. I think it's true. This valley is full of beautiful people, and I think we attract this, this alien, so they finally land in this beautiful town, so we're happy to know that they come in peace, too. <laughs> yes, I would like if he come to visit that because uh, we know we have a lot of stories about the town, the benefits, and make a new friendship is good for everybody. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Hey, welcome to Timothy's. This is my place. I'm Jimmy, the owner. Let me show you this place to 
maybe one day come to enjoy it, having fun, good people, good drinks, hot food. Hi, uh, how are you? So we're here to let you know that an alien from space just landed at the bus station in Cabamba. <laughs> what can you say about it? Something incredible just happened. Oh, everyone is welcome here, I guess. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but if they don't misbehave, no problem. <laughs> yeah, that's what we want. And uh, they're bringing a very uh, nice message, you know, about love and peace. So that's what we want to do and start uh, right now. So, so do you are, have any... Are they aliens or hippies? <laughs> so it's pretty, pretty similar. Uh, <laughs> no, that they're very welcome, like everyone else to be called. Very perfect, thank you. Bamba, welcome Supreme everyone. They say they come in peace. They're here to help the human race. It is time for the human race to be more peaceful towards each other. They will show us new technology to help us live harmoniously with each other. And they will teach us how to navigate through this new time and space. An incredible event. We must get the story out to everybody and we will start right away. Hi, how are Hi. you? Oh, so we're doing some interviews and what would you say if we told you and Ellen just landed at the bus terminal? I wouldn't be too surprised. Uh, there's a group of folks up here about a week, week and a half ago that saw across in between the two ridges over there two crashed metallic built at large, not a, a drone or anything. Go up, phew. Second one went up, phew. And uh, so. That was just about a week or ten days ago. Uh, numerous other people have seen various types of phenomena in the sky. Uh, my only experience here was about a month and a half ago. A group of us were having coffee and drinks in the morning, and there was a metallic light in the distance that maintained a constant presence for about an hour. Then clouds came in and we couldn't see them anymore. So it wouldn't surprise me. Wow, so this tells us all. Oh, they were just getting closer and now they just decided to land here. So it's, it's, it's incredible. And also they share us a message because they come in peace. And uh, so they're going to teach us now how to navigate through this new time and space. And we believe everybody needs to start getting peaceful with each other. Okay. Thank you, 
How do you feel about aliens or not terrestrials coming to Vilcabamba? Vilcabamba welcomes everyone. Isn't it about time that we expand our consciousness to include other possibilities of life in this vast universe? And can our first reaction be one of curiosity instead of fear? Hello, this is Dusty Travis, the director of this video. Please feel free to share this video with anyone that you think will be interested in watching it. Please remember, if you don't create the world you prefer, then you have to accept the world you are given. You have the power in your pocket to create the world that you want. Get ready to accept those that may be alien to you in the future. Realizing that we are all much bigger than our differences, we can all learn to see things in a different way. It is time to advance and explore what we do not understand instead of fearing new things and new situations. As the saying goes, there are no strangers here, only new friends we have yet to meet.